the adjustments that they made uh, um, probably would have been changed or they would have you know, went somewhere else. Um, but um, not making those shots gave them confidence on what they were trying to do and uh, kind of uh, got us out of our flow. And, uh, and it took us a minute. And then, but you know, I'm proud of how we fought back into the game, how we competed. Um, you know. So we're going to make our adjustments and uh, on to game three. On a broken possession like that, you end up with a, a pretty good look and a guy that, that shot the ball so well in Danny taking that shot. How confident are you guys that he, that he has that shot? It's not about that shot. Uh, you know, that shot, it's, it's, a, it's a good shot. You know, you, sometimes you make it, sometimes you miss it. It's not about and that shot. The game was not um, won by them or lost by us uh, on that shot. They changed up their, their looks defensively mm -hmm. to start the game. And to finish the game. Yeah. Um, what did you see from, from that and how were you guys able to do that? Um, you know, they, they, it's, it's obvious what, what they're trying to do, what they're trying to accomplish. And uh, like I said, if we would have made shots early on, uh, you know, I don't know how they would have felt about that scheme. Um, got to work on it, got to make adjustments, and uh, get ready for game three. Did you feel like there was a, a letdown to start the game after such a dominant game one? I don't think letdown is. is, is, is uh, you know, the right choice um, for us, at least. Um, I think that you know we uh, we got a little stagnant and uh, trying to you know uh, figure out the mismatches that we had, and uh, and kind of uh, you know slowed our flow and and uh, slowed things down. Played on on one side of the floor, allowed them to load, and uh, and that kind of you know messed us up a little bit and frustrated us, which you know it's a good adjustment. Not someone that looks at a, you know at you know the first one to four, um, you know you made your adjustments for game three. Um, either way, you are you know you're down, you're up, you're tied. You know it's about the next game. Um, if there's no other way around, it's till you know one one of the one of the two teams wins four games. This this is what it is. We knew we knew coming in you know it was gonna first of all just bring the energy a little bit more and uh, you know kind of like come at us. Um, they made some adjustments, and um, you know things were expected. But we didn't, I don't think I don't think we came out early. You know how we were supposed to uh, with urgency early in the game. Um, but you know, give them credit. Is it encouraging that on a night where you guys didn't shoot that well, still only down five there at the end? Yeah, for sure. Um, just just proud of our team. Um, you know, it was we could easily just. Kind of sit back and you know and let the game go, but you know we, we fought hard and and um, and I'm, I'm just I'm just proud that we did that and uh, I think it's good for us. Um, and we're just gonna go back, watch film, and and, and just get ready to um, for game three. How can it be, how how can it be good offensive? for you? <laughs> um, I think you know um, adversity is always good, man. Um, we won game one, but at, at the same time we knew it wasn't gonna be an easy series, you know. Um, that's why it's a series, you know, teams make adjustments, team, teams come back, you know, they, they, they work on things and, and we, we knew it was going to be hard. Like, so, um, so yeah, that was a good punch for us and, and, and we just got to be ready to bounce back. How much was this team's offensive rhythm just kind of hard to get back after that initial start? Um, I think, I mean, we, we still, you know, we still fought out there and we came back and it was, it was in the game. It was one position game at one point, you know, so, um, I think early, you know, we needed to, to come with a better, better um, kind of intensity and, and urgency. But, but at the same time, it's the game of basketball. You know, things happen, and and I'm just glad that we fought back and and we had the chance to win or, or, or send it to overtime. Anything different for you with uh, Joel on you, just in terms of the way you you look to attack? Um, I mean, I think I miss a lot of shots, uh, shots that I usually make. Um, so uh, I think. Uh, that is on me mostly, and, and maybe just like not kind of like going, like rushing early in the game. I felt like I did a little bit, um, but you know that's just it's part of growing and, and part of learning, and and um, you know that's what makes the game so fun. You know, it's like you know you can play so well one day, and then the next day, you you know you 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 get at you know it, it gets tough, and you got to bounce back, and 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 and, I, and I'm sure you know that's the character we have on this team, and. Watch film, get ready for game three. So you don't think it was really anything he was doing in particular? Uh, no, I, I think, you know, uh, I was rushing a little bit and then I missed a lot of shots. Shots that I, I would take again, you know, I'd take a hundred times. Yeah.
Français, qu'est-ce qui explique un démarrage un peu, un peu faible de l'équipe en première période et puis l'énergie en deuxième période ah, Je pense qu'au début, on n'est pas venu avec l'intensité qu'on qu qu avait besoin de venir avec. Et puis, bon, on, on, a, on, espé, on, on savait qu'ils devaient venir avec, avec ça. Ils ont perdu le premier match. Donc, euh, je pense que pour nous, c'est une leçon, en fait. Une leçon. Et, et, et on doit continuer à, à, à apporter la, la, la même intensité pendant la première, la première mi-temps et la deuxième mi-temps aussi. Donc, euh, je pense que c'est une autre leçon de ce soir. Super confident. I mean, so he does, um, and and we'll give him that shot another hundred times, and 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 I'm sure he's gonna make more than he misses. So, um, yeah, we, we we didn't shoot the ball well tonight as a team, as a group. Um, we got we got to bounce back, and 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 that's for Danny, you know, it was a good shot. They were kind of roaming off of you know whoever and just playing all over and letting Kawhi get off early, but they came out more aggressive than us. We didn't come out aggressive enough. We didn't come out, um, you know, with a super sense of urgency. And they played. We didn't play well tonight. And they they played, they played really desperate and played super hard tonight. And you know they got a victory. Michael. Kyle, the um, Michael Grange from Sportsnet. The when when you say they. When you look at some of the specific adjustments they made, like um, were they kind of challenging Mark to get more engaged offensively? He only had the six shots, but I guess when they flip Embiid onto Pascal, um, I mean we've been talking all along about Mark being, you know, able to do it without shots and, and moving the ball, etc. But are they kind of challenging him to to be a little more aggressive? I don't know. Um, I think they just made an adjustment, and um, you know now we have to make an adjustment. I think. Um, I think if they do that again, you know, we'll figure it out. And, you know, we, we went to it a little bit more in the second half. We got a couple of fouls, um, you know, on, on some duck-ins and, uh, and some things. But uh, we'll figure it out. You know, we'll watch the film and, and see where we can get better and see how ways differently we can play and maybe duck him, duck him in and use him, you know, space in the floor. Um, you know, there's always going to be adjustments. And that's what the playoffs are about. And that's the great part about the playoffs is the adjustments. And, um, you know, we did a better job in the second half. I mean, we won the second half. And, you know, we got to just can't have that type of first quarter down nine and then, you know, lose the second quarter by four. You know, so we can't have that type of first half. And um, But, you know, tip, the, tip our hats to them. They played well. They made, they made a couple of adjustments. And now we go back, watch the film, and, you know, prepare for game three. Mike Gantcher. Kyle, Mike Gander, Toronto Sun. Um, what, what did you see from Jimmy tonight? Aggressiveness. He played, came out really aggressive. He made some shots. He was attacking. Um, you know, he, he played really hard. And, um, you know, that's the type of player he is. He's an all-star, all NBA caliber type player. And uh, he played that well. He played that way tonight. And uh, he helped them. I mean, he had 30 points and kind of, you know, that was a lot of their points, you know, in, in the grand scheme of things. Um, so he played well tonight, Go, you know. He did his job and, you know, was attacking. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I thought, I thought we got better, Doug, as we went. Um, didn't start out very good with, with flow, like rhythm and, and stuff. I thought we were um, um, just a little stand aroundish and a little trying to play mismatches, a little more than just continuing to just play and let, the, let things come to us a little bit. But we picked it up. I, you know, I think, again, I think shot a really low percentage. Um, thought we had – a lot of really good looks as well on top of that. So it's, uh, again, I got to look at the tape a little bit, but that's what it kind of felt like in the game. Oh, hi, back, Lewis. Lewis Atzman, Raptors Republic. Uh, Nick, looked like coming out of half that uh, you went to Gasol in the post a couple times. Was that more to establish him as a scorer or as a passer there? Well, um, you know, they were, they, they put a smaller guy on him, so we wanted to get it in deep. We just needed some more paint touches. You know, we would have taken we would have taken the post up layups if we could have got him. But usually, when he caught it, they were still doubling as well. Um, so we, you know, he just again had to make the reads to get it out. Um, and you know, it it was okay. At least at least it got it in the paint for us. I didn't think we were touching the paint enough in the first half. Michael Grange. Hey Nick, uh, Michael Grange from Sportsnet. 
uh, how much challenge, difficulty did them moving in bead onto Siakam cost you guys or cause you guys in terms of what you would have done otherwise or have done? Yeah, I mean, long? obviously it was um, um, difficult for us to handle by just looking at the numbers, right? I think uh, Pascal had a low low shooting percentage tonight. And a lot of those were trying to take on and bead at the rim and and uh, take advantage of the of the you know the the threes that were open, um, and Mark didn't Mark didn't get much either with a different matchup on him. So um, yeah, obviously it was a it was a difficult for us. Blake, Blake Murphy, the Athletic. You mentioned before the series you were happy with your rotations in round one, and you wanted to see them play out here. Two games in, is it something with the bench pieces that that you take another look at now with, with how those minutes have played out? Yeah, I mean, I think we always take a look at it, right? I think we are always thinking about, you know, any possible adjustments to it or changes or whatever. Um, and and this will certainly, um, you know, give us cause to reflect and review that for sure. Um, what we come up with by, by game three, you know, I don't know yet. I, I can't um, think of, you know, there's there's always like little things you wish you would have changed or left this guy in longer or put this guy in sooner or whatever. There's always little things here and there. But again, you know, I think we played, you know, pretty well with this rotation. We wanted to try and stay with it as much as we can. I actually flipped it, flip flopped it a little bit tonight um, by letting Kawhi run the quarter one time instead of Pascal, et cetera. And, you know, a couple quick subs there with them. Just, just that was just based on, you know, um, the flow of the game and the flow of the players. Mike Gander. Nick, Mike Gander, Toronto Sun. What, going back to Philadelphia, what do you need more from your bench? I mean, I think it's pretty obvious, but what, what do you need to get? Well, I mean, we, we, you know, certainly need, you know, first and foremost, you know, those guys are, um, you know, we need them to be solid defensively and, and execute the game plan, right? We don't, we don't want any breakdown in coverages or, or poor transition defense, et cetera. I mean, that's where it starts, really. But um, again, then, they got to, then they're all opportunity scorers, Mike, right? If, if driving lanes are there for Norman, he's got to take them. If shots are there for Norman, he's got to take them. If shots are there for Freddie and Serge, you know, they got to take them, right? And um, I, I, think, I think they, for the most part, those guys made, made pretty good choices. There wasn't a lot of opportunity for them tonight, it didn't seem like. Um, but, you know, it, it'd be nice to get a little punch from them. But, again, I didn't think it was overly like, I, I don't know, what are the numbers? Surge is one for five. I mean, there's just not a whole lot of shots there. There's not even, there's 10, 11 shots there out of the bench. I'm going to Ian next. Coach Ian Harrison, Associated Press. Coach Brown was just in here talking about the maturity of the performance he got from Jimmy Butler tonight. What jumps out for you in the challenges Butler presented tonight? Well, I mean, I think, for, I think first and foremost, um, I mean, listen, you know, Jimmy Butler's a, a gamer, right? And a, and a late gamer and a big time, you know, he's, he's going he to, he wasn't, he wasn't going to be quiet this whole series, right? This guy, this guy can play. We know that. He's done it and he's been in the playoffs, et cetera. Um, so, um, we got, you know, we're going to have to look at, you know, some matchups, see, see how the matchups work. You know, that's where we always start. Who, did we like who we had on him? Did we like the coverages we had on him? What, which ones can we change and which ones can we improve on? Um, and, and go from there. Ryan? Hey, Coach. Ryan McNeil, Oxygen Filtered. When you guys had that 17-4 to 4 run early in the third quarter there, you guys were 4-7 from beyond the arc. How important are three-point shots and making them for getting Pascal and Kawhi, shutting those double teams on those two guys? How big are three-point yeah. shots moving forward? I mean, I mean, they're they're obviously big, and again, I thought we um, we did create a lot of good ones. You know, I mean, I think there's always a couple there. You probably, after every game, you probably say maybe that one could have been a little higher quality, or maybe it was one more pass to the corner man, or or maybe it was another paint touch or whatever. But again, you know, we we, we got to you know make sure we're trying to attack them, right? I think we're doing a pretty good job of attacking them and getting downhill and getting it inside and. And, um, you know, there's there again now they're sending a lot of bodies and and uh, but that's not, you know, we saw that in the first series and then we just got to make the right reads out. And when you do, you know, you got to knock them down. That's that's um, can take them all day, but you got to make some. Marcus down front and then right. 
Nick, did you anticipate their centers guarding Pascal and Ben Simmons sort of playing essentially Kawhi man up with a little help every once in a while? Did you anticipate those adjustments from Brett? Well, I thought they did that a little bit to us in the regular season, so we we had talked about that, right? Um, I think you know, I think Simmons worked hard on Kawhi, but they they were giving him lots of help, right? They were they were really uh, closing down on him in lanes and and things, and and they did a good job, I thought of of um, sending double teams to the other areas as well. Anytime we tried to post, there was, you know, there was double teams coming. But the biggest thing they did was they just got out. I think they got out with urgency. You know, we first half especially, we didn't get it out of the doubles that cleanly, right, the, and with enough zip on them and, and, and to the next action. Um, some of that was, again, was us. I thought we, you know, we had chances to, to possibly get some back cuts out of double teams and things like that, and we didn't quite quite get there on those and, and it made our spacing a little um, less spacey, you know what I mean? They, they could cover us a little, e little easier.